Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you a haul from Friday. Um, I was editing the video that I actually made on Friday, but I showed way too much stuff. It was like, I had to break the video into three different videos. So I was like, forget it. I'm just going to re-record it really quick. I had no intention of making a video today. That's why I look like this. Because it's Sunday and that's the day I clean and like relax and do nothing basically. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to show you really awesome deals because, you know, I'm not going to really show what I got more so than the special deals that I got. I ended up going to a CCO and I learned about them on Friday from these two videos right here. Check them out. Um, I ended up getting br two brushes while I was there. And by the way, before I even say anything, I am not going to edit this video, so I hope it goes well. I'm sorry if I mess up. But also, uh, CCOs do not let you spend more than $300 a visit unless you want to pay in different payment types. Like, I went there with a check and a tiny bit of cash. So, you know, expecting to just write a check. They were like, we only allow $300 is like your maximum unless you want to, you know, pay. Like, you could pay $300 on a check. $300 in cash and $300 per credit, but you can't pay $900 on a check. So, it's so stupid. I don't know. But, um, yeah, just so you guys know in case you ever go to one. So, anyway, that was really long. <laughs> I don't know why I just said all that. Okay, MAC 168 brush. Originally, 32. I got it for 22. MAC 222 brush. Originally, 28. Got it for 19. Awesome deals. These palettes I'm really excited about. I've been looking for them on eBay. I've been looking for them everywhere. I really didn't want to buy them on eBay. I was just hoping I would randomly find them, and I did. Yeah, I was seriously, literally this week going to buy them from eBay. So I'm really happy I found these at a CCO because I'm really iffy about buying things online. So, um, yeah, I got Trio 1. Um, which is a total disappointment because um, this is like the two dollar palette. I didn't realize that until I came home, but I really like the packaging. So, you know, and the colors aren't exactly the same, but it's still the, you know, really light um, skin tone color, the mint color, and like the glittery black color. It's only missing the magenta. Otherwise, it would seriously be the two dollar palette. Anyway, I don't really care about that. This is the one I was looking for and, like, in love with. And I got it, and I was actually, like, still really happy. Like, it was exactly what it looked like online. Um, this color right here is my favorite color forever. Since, like, since I discovered this, this is going to be my favorite color forever. And it is VIP. It's a gorgeous bubblegum pink color. That is what it looks like. Maybe a tiny bit darker. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And um, when you add Fix Plus to it, it becomes really, really vibrant bubblegum pink. The only thing that stinks about this palette is that the purple color ends up looking like black when you wear it. So it's kind of upsetting. But I don't really care. I'm thinking about going back and getting another one because I'm so in love with that, with that pink color. It's so gorgeous. And these were awesome deals because these are $22. That's the cost of two refill pans. You get three... Um, different colors in a gorgeous palette. So I think it's an awesome deal. Another thing they were having really good sales on were my favorite things ever, which are fluid lines. Um, they are originally 14 on sale for 11 and some fluid lines that they were selling at the CCO that I went to were actually sold in sets and the sets were $20 for two. And, um, that's like an $8 sale. So that was pretty neat. I ended up only getting um, this single color, which is Jade Eye or JD or something. It was a really good deal. And um, it's a gorgeous turquoise color. I turquoise color. I really like it a lot. I ended up getting paint pots and some paints and some pigments, some shade sticks. Let me show you these. These, I don't remember offhand how they were, so I'm probably going to add... Um, a notation with the cost because I don't remember how much they were. Um, silver blue, what is it? Overcast, seamy, and shimmer mint. 
Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love these two colors. I wanted them for a while. Shade 6 are apparently getting discontinued, except for certain nude colors they're going to keep. That's only hearsay, though. I really don't know. Obviously, I don't work for MAC, so I don't know the deal. Um, I don't know how much they were, so I'm going to add little notations, annotations or whatever. Pigments, awesome deals. They're originally $19. They were on sale there for $13. The only thing that sucks is um, the reflex colors I got there and this color, which is Smoke Signal. They were all like a quarter empty. So, that sucks. The rest of them were like normal and full, fill and stuff like that. So, I don't know. And also, amazing deals they had on eyeshadows. I ended up getting, seriously, like, I can't even pick up, like, even half. This is just half of the eyeshadows I ended up picking up because they were $11. Seriously? Let me just show you, like, my all-time favorite out of all of them, which is this one right here. Love this freaking color. I'm not even lying. This is so gorgeous. Like, this and the VIP are probably going to be my favorite colors for the rest of my life. It is a bright turquoise color. I think turquoise colors are the hardest colors to find. Like, always my mind had this, like, turquoise color I've always wanted to find, and this is it. Um... Because greens and turquoise and blues are really, like, um, hard to find an exact shade. And this is the exact shade I've been searching for my whole life. So, really excited about that. And these are originally 14 I think, on sale for 11 the cost of a pan refill. So, I was like, that is a great deal. Um, let's see. I have some more stuff upstairs, but that's just skin stuff, so that's not really anything important. And, um, yeah. So that's basically my haul, kind of-ish, a really short version. I'm thinking about actually starting to sell things that I buy from the CCO. Oh, look, there's my guinea pig, Maggie Moo. She's eating something. Okay, um, I'm thinking about deciding to sell things, like, making an eBay store or something like that with products in the CCO because I've actually noticed a lot of other YouTube gurus do that. But because I'm not really looking to make a profit, um, this palette right here is $22. I'd probably sell it for this and the cost of shipping because I don't really need to make money because I'm going to be going to the stores anyway. So it's not like you guys have to pay for gas or anything. And it's plus for those of you who cannot go to Mac stores, they're not around you or CCO stores, you know, or you really wanted something and you didn't get it when the collection came out because apparently I heard Hello Kitty collections coming out in CCOs this month. I'm not sure. She said this coming month or no, she said next month. She said next month, but that was also like the 28th. So she could have meant June or July. I don't really know. And people aren't really supposed to know what they're getting in their stores anyway because it's a CCO. So... I'm going to become friends with that girl so she can know what she's getting in. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's my haul. And um, rate, subscribe, comment, and let me know what you think about um, selling stuff. I'm not really sure, though, because it might be difficult, a lot of work, and I've never done it before, so I don't really know. So let me know what you guys think, and see you later.